Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. My name is Marshawn. I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women like to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire. Today, we will be discussing why divorce is so common. I'm going to give you four reasons. Stay tuned. All right, fam, thanks for coming back. So four reasons why divorce is so common. Number one, because people are so stubborn and they will not even say the two famous words, I'm sorry. Because it doesn't matter what the reason is. Saying I'm sorry takes away all of that animosity. It starts the healing process and it also lets you guys move on. Yes, move on. But because there are so many stubborn people out there, saying I'm sorry is the last thing on their list of things to do. Isn't it funny that you can say I'm sorry to everybody in their mama? But when it comes to your spouse, it's something about saying I'm sorry. It's something about being perceived as being wrong. It's something about me having to come to you first. We're very prideful and we all have an ego. But saying I'm sorry starts the healing process. And a lot of people don't realize that. They would rather be right than say I'm sorry actually leads me to point number two. I just said it. Most people would rather be right than to continue to have a beautiful relationship. Because anytime I tell you how I feel, I need to tell you how I feel. I need to say it however it is I need to say it. And guess what? It doesn't matter what you say. I'm going to over talk you because I need for you to hear me Forget the fact that I also need to listen to you. Forget that fact. Because you're not talking about nothing anyway. I got to be right. And so because I got to be right, at some point, somebody going to get tired of me always having to be right. Somebody going to get tired of me always over-talking them. And somebody's definitely going to get tired of me not saying, I'm sorry. The end result? Divorce. Again, pride, ego, that always gets in the way. The third reason why divorce is so common is because people will not take responsibility for their own actions. See, I would rather blame you for everything that I do and everything that you do because it's never my fault. It's always your fault. Doesn't matter what I did. I'm going to find a way to flip it around so it's your fault. I'm going to find a way to flip everything around because you are the blame. Things are not going the way they should be going. You're not doing a certain thing. The thing that I think that you should be doing. Yeah. That's the issue. That's an issue. And so I'm not taking blame for nothing. I'm blaming everything on you. And guess what? At some point, somebody's going to get tired of being blamed. Somebody's going to get tired of you acting so very immature that I always have to be the one to say I'm sorry. And now I'm taking all the blame. And you overtalk me? Yeah, that's a deadly combination. Deadly combination leading to divorce. The fourth reason actually goes into all of the three, (laughs) which is because I always have to say I'm sorry. Because you always blame me for everything and you always have to be right. Number four, I'm not spending no time with you. I'm finding any other reason not to spend time with you. Because why would I want to spend time with somebody who over talks me, who never says sorry, and who always blames me? Now nah, I don't want to spend time with that person. So now the gap, the distance is expanding, expanding, expanding. As time goes on, 
all of this distance in between, you have now started to, to live and outlive the life that you want to live and create. I have started to do the same thing. You're here. I'm here. Family time is sometimes here, sometimes there. But by and large, I don't want to be with you. And guess what? When we are together, we just argue, fuss, and fight. And I'm wishing the whole time that I wasn't with you. So that quality time, that spending time with you, I don't want to do that with you no more. And eventually, somebody's going to get tired. And that relationship will absolutely end. And guess what? It's going to end in divorce.